Hi guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. So today I have filmed for you this quick and easy makeup routine. It's kind of like my go-to mummy makeup in the morning. I'm a busy mum with three children. I have one in school, one in kindergarten and one at home with me. So there's not a whole lot of time for me to get ready in the mornings, let alone getting the kids done and out the door by 8.15 a.m. So this is just my all day wearable go-to look it's just really simple and there's not a whole lot of effort that goes into it anyone can achieve this look in under 10 minutes and i have oily skin so for all my other oily skin girls out there i've got you covered and i'll list all the products down below and if you'd like to see how i created this look then please keep on watching Okay, so firstly, I'm going to go in with my Lucas Pore Pore ointment and I'm just going to pop some of that on my lips because they've been super dry lately with this weather being a little bit all over the place. One minute it's freezing, the next minute it's not bad. So I try to keep them hydrated as much as possible. So then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer. This has been the best primer I've found so far that helps keep my oil at bay throughout the day. If you have any suggestions for primers for oily skin, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear your recommendations and give them a try as well. For foundation, I'm going in with my all-time favourite, the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 3W1 Tawny. I've been wearing this for years and I found that it's the best foundation for oily skin, well for my oily skin anyway, um, and it really helps stop the shine coming through because I don't really have time throughout the day to be constantly powdering my face and so I really love this. It is quite a full coverage foundation but I found you can sort of sheer it out a little bit if you don't want anything too heavy on your skin. And the best thing about it, besides it being full coverage, is it doesn't break me out like a lot of other foundations do. I tried a different foundation the other day and I started getting some pimples. You can see over here. So, um,. Yeah, I love this. You just have to be quite fast at working it into your skin, I've found. So I would probably concentrate on one area at a time when applying it and just pushing it right into your skin. And it doesn't make you too a cake facey either, which is really good because I found some mattifying foundations are so thick and heavy that they do tend to give you that look, which nobody wants. We all want to look naturally flawless. So I'm not using too much foundation today because I just want a light look. Nothing too heavy, it's just an everyday wearable look. I can still see some of my blemishes through there and I don't mind that. I would rather have a skin-like finish. So following on from foundation, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer and this is in the shade 02 Light. I really love this concealer. I don't tend to use a whole lot. However, I was up last night with a teething baby so I need all the help I can get today <laughs> with these dark circles under my eyes. I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to push that in and a little bit on my eyelids as well. To set my face, I'm going to go in with my Australis Fresh and Flawless Press Powder and that's in the shade Deep Natural mainly in my t-zone because that's where I get the oiliest but this is just a really nice pressed powder that I always keep going back to 
not just break that down my neck as well. Blend it all in. So this is the AC Onto Australis Contour Kit. So I'm gonna go in with the middle shade here and I'm just going to chisel out my cheekbones. And then just down the sides of my nose as well. And then taking this end shade here, which is one of the lighter shades, I'm going to just run that with my finger down the bridge of my nose. And then I'm going to take this end shade here, which is the warmer shade, and I'm just going to do some light bronzing with that just above where we contoured there just to give a little bit of warmth back into the face because that was quite an ashy colour that we contoured with just bringing it up onto my forehead a little bit next I'm going in with the Astralis Show Some Cheek Blush and that's in the colour Cameo and I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and just work it back and I would suggest to just be light handed with this one because if you go in with too much it is quite pigmented so that kind of just gives a healthy glow to the cheeks it's really pretty next I'm going to go in with my soft and gentle mineralized skin finishing highlighter and I like actually working it down a little bit further down my cheek I saw one of the girls on The Real Housewives of Cheshire, she had done that and I thought it just looked really pretty and youthful and because I wear my hair out a lot, it kind of covers this portion of my face so I like to work it down a little bit so you can still see that highlight popping through. I'm just going to remove some of that ointment and then I'm going to go in with my favourite lip combo. So the lip pencil I like to use is the Rimmel London Exaggerate in East End Snob. I've been using this for years and I go through so many. I love it. It's just a really wearable day-to-day -day colour. There we go. And then the lipstick is Brave by MAC. I love this lip combo together. It's just really pretty. And I'm all about the dusty pink mauve shades. I think I have like 50 different lipsticks that look exactly the same but are just different brands. I don't know why I keep buying more and more of the same color but I'm obsessed with this color. It just goes with everything, you know? So I'm just going to go back in under my eyes with my Fresh and Flawless and just put a tiny little layer under there. I don't tend to bake underneath my eyes because I do have some fine lines. So I like to just keep it light around that area. Not too many products, nothing too heavy. Now for eyes, I'm going in with my trusty Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. And I'm going to begin with the shade Nuna. This one right here. I'm going to take that on my brush and then work it all across my eyelid and up into the crease, just blending it upwards. It's just a really pretty colour and I feel like it goes really well with this lip shade. Then I'm going to go over top with the colour Buzz, just here. It has some shimmer to it. And I'm just going to pop that onto the eyelid. For brows, I'm gonna go in with my Essence Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Blonde. This is probably like a dollar or two dollars. It's the cheapest 
eyebrow pencil you can get but I really love the color payoff it has so I've recently tinted my eyebrows so I don't really have to do too much to them which is awesome because who has time for that to be honest and then I'm just gonna run the brush through them just to eliminate any harsh lines that may have been created. I don't like my brows to be too perfect. I like them to be a bit wild and woolly. <laughs> That's the brows done. Are they ever really done though? So moving on to lashes. Right now I'm using the Rimmel London Volume Colorist Mascara in the color black. This one right here. I change up my mascaras quite a bit but I'm really liking this one so I'm sure I'll be repurchasing it again. It's so hard not to make that awkward mascara face <laughs> when you're coating your lashes. So here's the finished look. super girly and feminine and anybody can achieve this look in less than 10 minutes. Please let me know if you have any tips or tricks to getting ready in the morning. I'd love to hear them or even if you'd just like to say hi, it'd be great to hear from you. Please let me know down below and if you like this tutorial, please like and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye guys!